Hello and welcome to DigiTips. Short tips, tricks and tutorials brought to you by Kari Jensen, Adobe Certified Instructor. Okay, there's one more thing I want to show you and then I'll put that in the third podcast and it is how you can replace this original coffee bug with another bug because you might not actually like this coffee bug. So let's go down to the layer menu and sort of halfway down you will find that there's a smart objects submenu. There's a few other bits and pieces in there that you might want to have a look at such as exporting contents. You can actually export smart objects into an external file again that you might want to do something else with. In this case what I want to do is I want to replace the contents. I want to have a different coffee bug. So I'll select that and in the dialog box that follows we'll navigate to my second coffee bug that I've got here. We'll place that again, we'll click OK and again just like with editing the original smart object coffee bug if I replace the original smart object coffee bug, as long as you're looking at this and you've created copies or duplicates of the original coffee bug layer, which was a smart object layer, they all link back to the same embedded nested illustrator file. And I just think this is pretty amazing. Thought I'd want to throw that one in for you as well.